back down on the park lake and I'm also back in the same swim that I fished last time. I saw a massive crease right underneath it. Did see something come up onto the surface and swim around the corner. Give me a much more higher sort of confidence on this spot especially. What an amazing morning session so far. I've got an hour or so left. Could you believe this? I've actually managed to get my first one from the park lake. Well, I'm back down on the park lake and I'm also back in the same swim that I fished last time. The only reason I'm back in here is that when it's sunny and warm, they do come up here and sun themselves and they also uh, feed along the island. And yesterday I came down here just to have a little walk around and uh, as I walked past the back of this island, I saw five carp. Now you can't actually fish from that side, but seeing carp there definitely gave me an encouragement to come back in here. I put the rods in the back in the same position as I did last time. The right hand rod I've put about four foot from the island. I've gone out as far as I can. Um, there is a snag like about three or four foot right of it as well. Um, underneath the water, there's a big rock and a big snag. So um, um, I can't go out too far from that island. Both of them on Ronnie rigs, on helicopter setups. That's on the Red Lobster Wafter. Uh, tipped off of sink and plastic corn just so that I don't add any buoyancy to the wafter and I've put in about a handful of boilies scattered around the area um, I have had a coot dive on a few of them, but um, I'll keep topping it up um, If he eats a few that is I'll definitely top it up and the other rod is Underneath the tree exactly the same as what I did last time the only reason is back on that same spot It's just because when I turned up in the swim I saw a massive crease right underneath it and uh, I did see something come up onto the surface and swim around the corner. Pretty much exactly the same as what I saw last time I was in this swim. So again, I put it back in that same spot just because there's encouragement there that there could be something that just fed on that spot and maybe I'll get something on it. And that's on the same bait, on the Red Lobster Wafter. I uh, tipped off a plastic corn. Uh, the bottom baits I'm fishing with are the Red Lobster 15mm bottom baits. I wanted to match it as much as possible. When you're fishing into the summer, you want to be trying to match your hook bait. There's a lot more activity in the swim. There's a lot more creases and uh, splashes and um, all sorts of things going on in the swim, more than last time. It's definitely more activity, giving me a much more higher sort of confidence on this spot, especially. Um, but definitely seeing the carp yesterday definitely gave me 100% encouragement that I'm gonna get something from this spot. So hopefully I do. Well, <laughs> could you believe this? I've actually managed to get my first one from the Park Lake. I cannot believe it. It's only nine and a half pound, not an absolute monster, but it's a good start anyway. I brought in my other rod so I could recast the other one back onto the same spot that I had this one from, which was on the island. Um, and I managed to find a snag and lose the whole rig. So I've had to re-rig up and uh, sort it all out, recast it, rebait it, so it's back on the spot. So hopefully I'll get another one. Um, yeah, I'm probably going to pop both on the island now just to try and get as many bites as possible. That's where I'm expecting to get the most anyway. So uh, yeah, I'm going to put him back and uh, hopefully the next one's a little bit bigger. Let's see. Well, I managed to get another bite. Look at that. Uh, this one was 10 pound. This common is absolutely a scrapper. Gave me a right old fight. But uh, yeah, look at it. Stunning little common. Yeah, I can't believe it. I don't care how big it is at all. Honestly, I don't. It's amazing just to catch on the park lake. I knew it was gonna be really tricky, 
but uh, I've managed to do it and I've managed to catch. Yes, that's really good. I'm gonna get Rob back out and maybe we'll try and get one more before I have to leave. Uh, I've only got a couple hours left of my session, so let's see if I can get another bite before I have to go, because it's gonna get really hot today, so I wanna be off about 11 o'clock, so uh, let's see what happens anyway. Yeah, <laughs> all right, let's get it back. Well, what an amazing morning session so far. I cannot believe this. I've had coots diving on me like crazy. And the first bite that I had, I honestly thought I had a coot on. And then uh, I realized it was a carp. And uh, yeah, it gave me a pretty good fight, that mirror. Um, it went right around the corner and snagged me up and I had to go and wade all the way along and find it and unsnag it. And uh, yeah, it was a bit of a nightmare, that one. Um, but the common, it just shot off into open water and came around really easy. It did give me a rattle kick in, but it didn't go near any of the snags, which was really good. I keep saying it before, there's a big massive rock, and then literally just beyond that, there's a massive branch that fell in from the tree that's on the island. You can kind of see the back of it, it sort of collapsed. And um, yeah, so there's a massive branch in there and a massive rock as well, which I thought it was going to get on. Um, but last time I spoke about letting it go past, before I used to try and pull it away as quick as possible but now I'm literally allowing them to have drag and letting them go past and I think that's what's making me land them this time last time I did lose one or two doing that so um, yeah allowing them to go along and then push them out into open water definitely has worked I've land, managed to land both of them as well which is really good really encouraging um, it's just a brilliant start brilliant brilliant start I've done really good so far i mean it took me a five or six sessions last time to even manage to hook one so uh yeah to get two is pretty good i can build on this now i know that at the moment they're here i do think they're going to be here the rest of the week it's meant to be hot all week i know where they are now uh, last time i found them here and they were here for a very short period of time and as soon as the temperatures changed and the weather changed they disappeared so uh, at the moment they're here I'm probably going to put some bait in before I leave. I might come down tomorrow and put some bait in, and then I'll give it one more session, morning session this week, and uh, see what happens then. But uh, for now, I've got an hour or so left. You never know, something might happen, and uh, might get one more. But I'm happy with what I've got already. I think I've done brilliant for my third session down here. So, uh, yeah, let's see if anything else happens. If not, I've done pretty good. Well, I uh, did manage to get another bite, uh, but unfortunately I managed to lose it on the island and a uh, bit of a disaster at the end, but uh, I had two that I landed and uh, uh, sometimes you do lose them, so it doesn't matter too much. I've had a really brilliant morning session on here. It's absolutely gone crazy. I'm definitely going to come back to this swim. It's obviously doing really well at the moment. The carp are down here and they're enjoying it. So uh, I'm going to keep pre-baying and I'll be back down in about two days time to try for another morning session. So hopefully I'll get a few more bites and maybe even something bigger. You never know. All I've got to say is thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.